Welcome to WeVoteApp Academy. I'm Mr. Pawan Bhuya, and in this video, we'll be learning how can we design the orders page of this project. So let me go to dashboard and click on orders. There is no single page, no orders page here. And now I'll be opening my Sublime Editor and I will create a new page called orders.php, not PHP, HTML. Okay, save it as orders.html. And what I will do, I will simply copy the page of dashboard and put it in the page called products.html, uh, okay, orders.html, sorry. And let me reload this page, right? It's working perfect. So at first we have to give it a name. The name of the page will be your orders, your orders. Okay, let's reload it. It's working pretty perfect. Then in the next section, I'll be deleting I'll be deleting all the other divs which we have created and let me reload it now. Yes, all done. And now here, what I will do, I will go to getbootstrap.com, getbootstrap.com docs, and we have to copy a component called uh, table. Here, I'm not able to see the table. Okay, T A B L E tables. Okay, it's a uh, contains tables. So let me copy a nice table here. I think this will look nice. And what I will do, I will simply copy the first table, this one, and I will paste it here. Oh, at first we have to create a container for this, for pasting the table quotes. And this is the container. And now I'll be creating a class called row. And then I'll also be creating a class called call MD12. And inside call MD12, I'll be pasting all the quotes which we have copied from getbootstrap.com. So this is the table head and the rest is table body. Okay, I will make the indentation look good. Okay, perfect. Okay, then let's reload the page and check how it's looking. It's looking cool. And now I will go to the next. Uh, I will go to the section striped rows and I will copy this class and we have to write it in this way table class so the class is now table instead of table I'll be using table stripped okay so it's looking nice the we can easily identify which one uh, the first and the second third or fourth whatever it is and now here I'll be writing serial number and then I'll be writing the customer name, customer, then customer mobile, then customer email. And here I'll be uh, writing the date because we also require the date on which the customer uh, places the order. And here one and the serial number is one. That will be today. It's uh, 7 of August 2022. And uh, the customer name, Mark. Then the customer mobile, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then customer email, academy, at the rate, webotep.com. Okay, so this is one value. And I'll be deleting uh, the second and the third row of this column and here it will be two uh, instead of mark uh, now julie and uh, here operations for example and the phone number is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'll be copying this row once again now the serial number will be three and and the date will be something like 5th of August. And here, Peter, the number will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And uh, here, test at the red webotype.com. Let me check. Yeah. Serial number, date, customer, mobile, and email. So let me create one more row here. Okay. And the serial number will be 4. And the date will be something like 1. And the name will be. Uh, Mary and uh, the number will be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, here test two for example and let me reload it yeah it's looking pretty perfect and on the right hand side of the email we have some free space what we will do we will create a new column called action and in the action what we will do uh, here two col two columns and sorry one is sufficient so here we will write two values one will be edit and the other will be delete okay edit and delete perfect so instead of uh, using edit and delete as text what i can do i can simply uh, go to font awesome okay this is font awesome and and from font awesome i can copy some uh, buttons like this is edit okay and uh, we can also copy some buttons like this is delete but in order to uh, make font awesome work in our project we have to include font, font awesome cdn cdn font awesome and uh, from cdn.js we'll be copying the font awesome library and here on the head of this section of this page i have included the cdn of font awesome now what i will do i will simply go to this font awesome page and click on uh, this one and instead of writing it as delete what i will do i will simply paste this code and let me check it here yeah it's working all right and uh, similarly and instead of writing it as edit i can write it in this way and i have to give two links here uh, one is for the edit and the other is for delete but uh, while uh, designing this or while programming this page we'll be doing all this type of things uh, for the time being i will be simply copying this column and paste it on all the rows which we have created for the four orders okay perfect so this is the page for orders so in the next video, we'll be learning how to design the logout page of this project using simple HTML and CSS and the framework called Bootstrap. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.